Hey folks, uh, this is Mr. MathBlog. This one is we're describing triangles. Remember, triangles have three sides that are equal. So we have the same common core strand as we do on all the other ones here, So, um, uh, which is right there, reasons with shapes and their attributes. And then so this question is, how can we use the sides and the angles to help us describe triangles? Okay, so um, how can we use straws of different lengths to make, uh, make triangles? So what we're, they're going to ask you to do, or what I'm going to ask you to do, because that's what our textbook is asking us to do, is to get some different straws, and, and um, we need some uh, scissors also, and we're going to cut straws into different lengths. So I'm just going to cut these straws up into different lengths. Okay, so um, I have those different lengths. I, obviously, I had more than these three straws. I had six straws, so I cut them up into, into different lengths right there, okay? And then the first one is, is to uh, uh, find straw uh, pieces that we can put together to make a, a triangle, okay? So, and you can, and then it says draw this triangle on some paper or on some math board and try to use a straight edge when you're doing that. Don't do it freehand. It's, it's really obvious when kids do. So, so um, at least with my students anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use this side right here, okay? And then uh, I'll use this side right here. And I'll, uh, so I'm going to have to, you just have to be patient with me as I twist it around. So I'm just going to keep twisting this until it makes a triangle. So I'm making sure that those two pieces are my vertices of my triangle. I'm sure i got to rotate it up some more so I can fit. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about fitting that yellow one in there also. So let's see. I'll probably have to bring that down back into the wording right there. Let's see. So, okay. So now I'm going to bring this guy up over here and we'll rotate that up and we're just going to make a triangle where the, they meet. Okay. So looks like I've got to rotate this up or maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, let's see. So I'm just going to keep rotating it and rotating it. I got it right here, so it's taking a while. So there it is right there. Okay, I had it down a little bit lower. That was my problem. Okay, so now go ahead and draw that on your paper or whatever, whichever one you did, draw on your paper or your math board. Okay, and then let's pick another one here. I forgot which colors I picked. Okay, I picked those two. Okay, so I'm going to pick this guy and then um, uh, this guy. And I think it was uh, this guy. Let's see. Which colors did I do? I forgot. Oh, the, the purple guy. Okay. So I'm going to make a triangle with these guys also. So put this one right here. And then let's rotate that one up. So it'll hit that one up there. And so as long as I do it correctly, um, it should make a nice triangle right there. Okay. So there's a couple of triangles right there. So there I did that right there. Okay, and then uh, those are the only triangles I can make with those lengths right there. Okay, so the next part saying now find three pieces that we can't put together to make a triangle. Okay, I'm, I forgot which pieces I used. Okay, the purple, the purple, and the yellow. So this one right here. Okay, so if I use that one and this one right here, and they got to put it over here so it makes the vertex right there, somewhere over there. Okay, and then if I do this one right here, can you see they don't reach? They can't reach to fit that third vertex right there. And so, so what the problem is, is, is that this side right here, this side and this side, but if I put them together, has to be longer than the third side. If it's, not, if it's not longer than the third side, then they don't reach. It'll never reach right there. In fact, if I, if I put them down, um, uh, I mean, it'll get closer. The closer they go down, they get closer and closer, but they still, they still won't reach each other. So if I put that right there and then put this one down a little bit, it, it still won't reach that over there. I need, to, I need to have this side plus this side together being longer than that third side right there. Okay, so um, so there's that. It doesn't reach right there. So compare the lengths of the sides and describe when we can make a triangle. Okay, so we had these two triangles right here. Okay, now the reason why we could make these two triangles is this purple guy plus this yellow one is bigger than the pink one. So these two sides are bigger than the third side. This pink one and purple one is bigger than the yellow one. And this yellow one plus the purple one is bigger than the, or plus the pink one is bigger than the purple. <laughs> it's hard for me to see the difference between purple and pink, okay? And then this side plus this side is barely, but it's bigger than this side. So it can make a triangle right there, okay? So uh, two sides together must be longer than the third side. 
All right, so uh, describe when we can't uh, uh, make the triangle. Okay, well, when the two sides together are not greater than the third side, that's when we can't uh, make that triangle right there, okay? All right, so um, explain uh, uh, how, not explain how. Sorry, a little misspelling right there. Let's take that out. Uh, okay, um, explain how. Uh, we can change the straw pieces in step three to make a triangle right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that picture again. All right, so um, uh, what we can do is just pick any of these other two sides. I can pick, uh, you know, if I pick, if I pick this purple one, I can pick this yellow guy and this guy because, uh, well, maybe, I, yeah, I can. Can you see the little leftover piece right there? this would definitely fit past that purple piece right there. So describe, so just make sure that we pick any three pieces and that any two together is longer than the third side. So if it's equal to the third side, we can't make a triangle still, watch. Right? These two sides are equal um, uh, to the third side. I, I, I matched it perfectly. And if I try to make a triangle right there, they just lay down right on top of that third side, so it can't make a triangle. There is no inside and outside, it just falls right on top of each other. So they have to be a little bit longer. Even if it's just a little bit longer, it make just a itty bitty little shorty triangle. So the two sides must be bigger than the third side. Okay, so what if we had three straws of equal length? Can we make a triangle? Well, sure, here's three straws of equal length, and so I'm going to just save some time. I did it right there. So it, since the, any two sides is greater than the third side, then yeah, we can make a triangle, and that's that later we'll call that an equilateral triangle because all the sides are are equal. Okay, we'll talk about that later. All right, so ways to describe triangles. So what are two ways that we can do, uh, tr that triangles can be described? Okay, well here's one way. They can be described by the number of sides that are of equal length. Okay, so what they want us to do is draw lines to match the descriptions of the triangle. So let's do this first guy here. This one says no sides are equal length. No, those look like all of them are equal. Um, this side is definitely longer, but this side looks like it's equal to that side right there. This one definitely, this one's of, um, uh, those three sides are not equal. This is the smallest, this is the, the medium one, and this is the biggest one. And this purple guy right here, this is the smallest, this is the middle, and this is the biggest right here. So I'm going to draw an arrow to the blue guy and an arrow to the purple triangle right there. Okay, all right, let's do this one. So two of the sides are equal length. Well, I know these two sides are equal length, and then this one over here looks like this side equals this side right here. Don't those two sides look like they're equal? So I'm going to draw an arrow here to here, okay? So there's that right there. And then all three sides are equal. The only one that has all three sides are equal are this one. So let's draw an arrow right over there, okay? All right, so now another way, you guys, is to describe by the types of angles they have. So here's those triangles kind of mixed up and matched up. I don't know why the, uh, the the people decided to mix it up and match it up like this, but they want us to focus on this angle right here and this angle, this angle, these three angles, these three angles they want us to look at, and they want us to look at that one and that one, all the blue markings. Okay, one angle is a right angle. Okay, the right angles are where the little boxes are. Okay, so they make a nice 90 degree angle. So here's another right angle. So we'll draw arrows to those two guys from there. Okay, and then this one says um, one angle is greater than a right angle. Okay, that's definitely less than a right angle because a right angle it goes straight up. Okay, and this one's less than a right angle also because the right angle from this side it's hard to imagine. Can you see it kind of goes like that in that direction? So the, all those are less than. Same with this one. All these are less than. But there's a right angle. I'm sorry, greater than. This one's greater than, okay? This one's opened up more. A right angle would probably go down like right about there, okay? And this one's opened up more. So that's the only one, I think. So I'm going to draw an arrow to there, okay? And then all three angles are less than a right angle, okay? Well, those are all less than a right angle. So are those. So we'll draw arrows to those for that guy right there. Okay, all right, so can a triangle have two right angles? Well, no, it can't, because for a polygon to have two right angles, 
It's no longer a triangle. It's either a quadrilateral, like this rectangle is. This one has four right angles. Here's a trapezoid with two right angles, but I can't get a triangle to have a right angle here and a right angle here because I can't close it up to make a triangle because then it wouldn't be a, a right angle right there. So this one down here wouldn't be a right angle if I went up here and, and drew that. There's my triangle. Or if I use this one um, to make my triangle, I can't go up here and make another right angle. It'd have to go back down there so so it can't be there it can't be there this is looks like a one two three four five a pentagon that has two right angles in it so for a polygon to have two right angles or more like that rectangle the polygon would have to have more than three sides all right you guys i hope that lesson makes sense and take care